The global auto industry is in the midst of a major shift, with governments, consumers, and investors pushing for greener transportation solutions. However, this transition has created significant challenges, especially for European giants like Volkswagen and Mercedes. Once leaders in combustion engine cars, these companies now face hurdles in adapting to the electric vehicle EV, market, grappling with reduced demand, stiff competition, and fading subsidies. For companies like Volkswagen and Mercedes, the stakes couldn't be higher. The European Union has enacted stringent environmental regulations and is moving toward a complete ban on internal combustion engine ICE vehicles by 2035. This regulatory push, combined with ambitious carbon targets, has forced these automakers to invest heavily in EV development. However, the transition isn't happening as smoothly as expected. Production is down across multiple European factories due to limited demand for EVs, leading Volkswagen to consider drastic measures, including plant closures and job cuts. The financial implications are also substantial. Both Volkswagen and Mercedes have revised their profit forecasts for 2024, citing slower than expected sales and rising costs associated with the EV shift. In Germany, Volkswagen's EV sales have fallen sharply, with models like the ID4 and ID5 experiencing year-over-year -year sales declines of up to 30%. This decline is partly due to the withdrawal of government subsidies, which had initially bolstered EV demand in Europe. Without these subsidies, consumers are less inclined to pay premium prices for EVs. Compounding these issues is fierce competition from Chinese EV makers, who have been able to manufacture at lower costs and sell aggressively in Europe. Chinese companies like BYD and Great Wall Motors are flooding the market with affordable EV options, further challenging Volkswagen and Mercedes, which traditionally operate in the higher-priced segments. With European and American manufacturers struggling to meet aggressive EV production targets, Chinese firms have taken advantage of the opening, capturing significant market share. The EV transition isn't just a technological leap, it's a financial one as well. While investing billions in new EV technology, Volkswagen and Mercedes are finding that returns are not immediate, leading to a pressure cooker scenario for European car makers. Volkswagen's chief economist pointed out that the industry faces a structural transformation challenge, adapt quickly, or risk obsolescence. So, why should American families pay attention? For U.S. investors, the financial difficulties of these automotive giants have direct implications. Mutual funds, pension funds, and retirement accounts often hold significant stakes in companies like Volkswagen and Mercedes, viewing them as stable long-term investments. However, as these companies navigate choppy waters, the stability that once made them attractive investments is under threat. If the transition to EVs doesn't pick up pace or if market dynamics worsen, American families with exposure to these stocks could see returns dwindle, potentially affecting retirement savings and investment portfolios. The challenges facing Volkswagen and Mercedes have repercussions that extend beyond Europe's borders. As these companies navigate slower than expected EV demand and increased competition, their struggles are impacting global supply chains, including those in the United States. When major automakers adjust production levels or close facilities, the ripple effect is felt in industries that rely on these companies for business, from US-based parts suppliers to logistics companies and beyond. For American families tied to these sectors, the consequences could be significant. Volkswagen and Mercedes source a wide range of parts and materials from the US, from electronic components to specialized metals. American suppliers count on steady orders from these automakers, and any reduction in production or shift in manufacturing location can disrupt the flow of goods. With Volkswagen already considering job cuts and plant closures due to underutilized facilities, this will likely lead to decreased demand from suppliers. Reduced production in Europe means fewer orders for American suppliers, potentially leading to layoffs, or reduced hours for US workers who depend on these contracts. Moreover, European car makers' reliance on advanced EV components could create further complications. If companies like Volkswagen decide to scale back on EV production in favor of more profitable combustion engine models due to reduced EV demand, it could lead to a slowdown in EV component orders for US suppliers. These supply chain shifts can have direct consequences on local economies, especially in areas heavily tied to the automotive industry. For American workers in sectors supplying parts or services to Volkswagen, Mercedes, or other European automakers, job security could become increasingly precarious. 
For instance, American suppliers in states like Michigan and Ohio could experience reduced orders or production delays. These shifts may lead companies to cut hours or downsize their workforce. Given that the automotive sector contributes significantly to U.S. employment, even indirect impacts on companies like Volkswagen and Mercedes can result in real job losses stateside, affecting household incomes and financial stability. Beyond job security, broader economic consequences also loom. The automotive industry is deeply integrated with the economy, impacting sectors like steel, electronics, and even retail. If European manufacturers scale back, it could depress demand for raw materials and finished goods, leading to a chain reaction of lower output, lower demand, and potentially reduced economic growth across these industries. The automotive sector's challenges also hold implications for U.S. retirement and investment portfolios. With funds and retirement accounts frequently invested in global automotive giants, any continued decline in these companies' profitability can directly impact the returns seen in retirement funds. European automakers were historically seen as stable investments, but the EV transition has introduced volatility, casting uncertainty on long-term returns. For American families, this means potential impacts on retirement savings as reduced profitability and slower growth weigh down stock prices and, by extension, the funds that hold these assets. As Volkswagen and Mercedes continue to grapple with the challenges of transitioning to electric vehicles, American families and investors will need to stay informed about the evolving situation. The automotive industry is at a crossroads. Traditional automakers are striving to remain competitive in an increasingly EV-centric world, while regulatory pressures and changing consumer expectations add layers of complexity. But how can American families adapt to these changes in a way that protects their investments and future financial security? For Volkswagen, Mercedes, and other European automakers, the path forward is uncertain. Analysts suggest that while these companies are committed to the EV market, they are also pressured to revisit their business models to balance profitability with sustainability goals. If Volkswagen proceeds with plant closures and workforce reductions, it could signal a strategic pivot in how traditional automakers operate under new market conditions. One possible route for these companies is to increase collaboration with EV-focused startups or technology firms. By partnering with companies specializing in EV innovation, legacy automakers could bridge the technology gap and manage costs more effectively. However, there are no guarantees that these changes will yield the desired results quickly, meaning American investors with stakes in the global auto market should remain prepared for ongoing volatility. For families with investments tied to international automotive giants like Volkswagen and Mercedes, diversifying portfolios may be essential. With the future of European automakers facing instability, one option is to consider US-based EV makers or tech companies that supply autonomous and EV technologies. American EV manufacturers and companies like Tesla or firms involved in EV charging infrastructure such as ChargePoint could present opportunities for growth especially as the U.S. automotive market transitions to electric vehicles more gradually than Europe. Additionally, funds that specialize in green technology or clean energy investments could offer an attractive alternative for investors wanting exposure to the broader EV and renewable energy market without the risks associated with legacy automakers. Many financial advisors suggest balancing traditional investments with emerging green technologies to build resilience against shifts in specific sectors. Interestingly, the challenges facing European manufacturers could create advantages for U.S. automakers. The U.S. EV market, though rapidly growing, hasn't yet encountered the same level of intense competition from Chinese EV brands. For American companies like Ford and General Motors, this might be a window of opportunity to strengthen their EV offerings domestically while expanding production and market share internationally. A strong American EV market could, in turn, stabilize related industries in the U.S., from battery production to local supply chains. Furthermore, policy support from the Inflation Reduction Act and other government incentives could continue to drive EV adoption in the U.S., reinforcing domestic automakers' foothold in the EV space and potentially boosting American-made vehicle demand over imports. For American workers and families, this domestic boost in the EV sector could mean greater job security and local economic benefits that help offset the volatility experienced by foreign automakers. 
The automotive industry's shift toward electric vehicles is a historic transformation that will likely bring continued shifts and occasional instability. For American families, the best course of action is to stay informed, diversify investments, and consider consulting financial experts who can provide guidance on balancing traditional and emerging markets. The success of Volkswagen, Mercedes, and similar companies in overcoming their current challenges will be watched closely, as it will shape not only Europe's economic future, but also that of American investors and workers connected to the global automotive supply chain.